Hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benton, and it is time for another edition of Angel Sudsy Recap, where we delve into the world of daytime television, and we do a few reality shows on the side. And one of the daytime TV shows, oh no, not, God, we're not doing daytime yet. That's to, that's next, that's Days of Our Lives. But this time we're doing um, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. They started up again. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, so, with The Housewives of Beverly Hills, Unfortunately, this, oh, first of all, I have to say, actually, yesterday was um, my friend Rose's birthday. I've mentioned Rose a few times here, and I want to give a shout out to Rose on your birthday. Shout out, girl. Okay, so, let's talk about the Housewives of Beverly Hills. Okay, so, unfortunately, Eileen Davidson, who we know from Young and the Restless is playing Ashley Abbott, or Days of Our Lives playing Kristen, Susan, Mary Moira, Thomas, Penelope, et al. I know, she's so good, though. Um, she's not on the show. Because she, between filming two different series and Housewives, she just does not have time. And I get it. Girl, I get it. Trust me. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be seeing Eileen this season. But, Lisa Rinna is still on the show. Kyle Richards is still on the show. Lisa Vanderpump is still on the show. Um, Dorit came back. Erica came back. Um... Who else? And then, oh, we're going to see Camille every now and then, you know, which is nice. I love Camille. You know, it's so funny. If, you, if After watching season one, I would, I'd never, I wouldn't, I never thought I would be like, I love Camille. But I do. I love Camille. Um, I, yeah. So, okay. So this, this episode was a, kind of about two things. And they were sowing seeds for another. So they did show a whole bunch of previews for this upcoming season, which looks to be totally gangbusters. I'm so excited. And basically what happened was, what had happened was, um, we got to meet the new girl. Okay, her name is Teddy Mellencamp Arroyo. I think, I think. And she's uh, John, John Cougar Mellencamp's daughter. Now, I mistakenly thought that it was one of his ex-wives, but apparently she's his daughter. Now, this is not a slam on her looks at all. It, I, it's actually a compliment to him because I thought that I didn't think he was old enough to have a grown-ass daughter, but he is. <laughs> wow, because that makes me feel old. <laughs> You know, she, what's funny is that she was like, yeah, when I was eight and nine, I didn't know because she was a little kid when he had his big success. And she's like, I didn't know music or what his songs were. I didn't know anything about that. And I was like, bitch, when I was eight and nine, I sure did know Jack and Diane and uh, Hurt So Good. I knew all kinds of John Cougar Mellencamp songs when I was eight and nine, so... I'm sorry, I thought, I want to know why I knew, because they played his videos on MTV constantly, and I was all about MTV. I would come home and I would watch MTV until I went to bed. I mean, MTV, MTV. That was back when they played music, music. So I didn't really watch a lot of um, episodic television because I was just obsessed with MTV. It was, it was the best. Anywho, all right, so... So we met her. Uh, we met her through Dorit. And then Dorit introduced her to Lisa Vanderpump because Teddy is a big horse person. That's a running theme on Bravo this season is horses because, you know, Ariana's, you know, riding horses on Vanderpump Rules and then on Beverly Hills Housewives. We've got Lisa, who apparently is obsessed with horses, which actually does not surprise me because we know she's a huge animal lover from her dog rescue she opened, Vanderpump Dogs, as well as her fight for a uh, fight against the Yulin Dog Festival in China. So we, I, I get it, I totally get it. I mean, it, it makes sense then that she would be all about, you know, horses, okay. So, anywho, so they met, they got along great, and but this is, this is kind of weird. This part where, so Kyle decides I'm gonna throw a party for Lisa Rinna, Erica, and Dorit, because all their birthdays are within like days of each other. So I'm gonna throw a birthday party for them in Vegas. If they wanna come, that's great. If they don't wanna come, that's fine too. And Teddy was like, oh my God, that's so funny because my birthday's tomorrow. And they're like, what? Come with us to Vegas. Okay, so Dorit and Lisa invited 
Teddy to Vegas. Now, I would have at least called the host and asked if we could invite her. I mean, Kyle probably wouldn't have mattered, but I, uh, she probably would have been like, yeah, bring her. But if this is not a stage trip by the producers, which it most likely is, but if it isn't, it would just, you know, behoove everyone to have a little bit of a little bit of manners and call the host and ask if you can bring someone extra. I'm just saying, especially on a trip where you've got multiple people in like hotel rooms. Like if it was just a house party and you showed up with her, that would be one thing. But this is a trip where you got like plane tickets and, you know, and who's who knows, maybe Teddy paid her own way. But I mean, I don't know. It just seems like, you know, I would have asked uh, to me. That's that that was the only thing weird about that scene. So, uh, we saw Erica Jane, and we saw her career just explode after she was on The Housewives. She's been on now for, this is her third season, and we see that the, her career just take off. She talks about being on Dancing with the Stars. She's like, I want to go back for Dancing with the Stars All-Stars, which, you know, they did that one time. Um, but a lot of the people that were on that, they actually won. Like, so, and not all of them. Bristol Palin, but they did um, have a lot of winners and or at least runners up and she did not come runner up. She was like, I don't know, second or third eliminated. So she didn't do that much on the show. So she's like, but I got you now. I was like, oh, well, it's a little, mm, oh, God, I, I maybe it's just because it's super early in the morning and I, I don't feel that refreshed, but like I'm like, I feel like I look like a fish. Okay, anyways, so I, I, let, there's something I got to mention, and, and I'm not trying to be sexist, okay? I'm really not. Everyone has their boobs out this season. I mean, they went out to a nightclub in Las Vegas, and everyone's tits were huge and out. You know, there was a season of Housewives of Atlanta where all the girls were all, you know, pushing their girls out. It might have been last season, actually. I mean, everyone just had huge boobs, whether it was Phaedra, Candy, Kenya, Nini. I mean, like, everyone just, Portia, everyone just had them out. Uh, and that's kind of how it was on Beverly Hills this year. So I'm like, oh, okay, all right. I mean, they all looked phenomenal, fantastic. Um, I was, It was just surprising because, you know, you don't really associate too much, you know, all of that with the Housewives of Beverly Hills. Now, with... People of Beverly Hills in general, I'm sure. I'm, of course, you would assume that. But with the how the specific this specific group of ladies, you don't really expect that. So I was that was that was like oh it was unexpected. It wasn't bad or good. It was just unexpected. I was like oh okay, get it. You know, power to you, girl. Um, all right, so. Let's see, who else? So, Lisa Rinna, you know, her kids are modeling. And, you know, what's interesting is she, she made her first daughter, Delilah Bell, wait until she was 17. And then she made the younger daughter, was Amelia, is that her name, I think? Anyway, they made her wait until she was um, 16. Now, here's the thing. Even, I mean, when you treat one child different than the other, like if you made one wait an extra year and you didn't make the other one wait, that's, you're going to set up some problems for yourself later on in life because it's not so much with the second one, but with the first one might grow to be a little bit resentful, you know, and she's like, you know, um, and this is how many parents feel. It's not just her, right? She's like, yeah, you know, you, you learn with the first child, you know. The problem is that they're so close in age. I think they're 19 and 16. They're only three years apart. Like, they're so close in age that it, it that's going to be real tricky if you treat the other one because of the mistakes you learned on the first one. That's going to be, yeah. Especially if you're more strict with the first one. Like, if you're more lenient with the first one, then the younger one would resent you because, you know, why don't I get to do the things that she does, right? But... Trust me, I know, I know. It's people will, it, it, and, and every, and it's like that with, and I'm not criticizing anyone's parenting skills. I'm just saying that that just be prepared because that will happen. Okay. Oh, and both the girls look great. 
they both look fantastic. So good for them. Good on them for modeling. And what's funny is that if you think of all the supermodels now, like if you think of just supermodels in general, right? They don't normally, I mean like, they're normally like, you know, girls you found on the street or or in, in the mall or something like that, right? They were spotted by some talent agent. Now they're all like pretty much housewives daughters, you know, whether it's um, Gigi Hadid, Bella Hadid, Amelia and Delilah Bell, uh, Hamlin, um, uh, Kendall Jenner, you know, it, it, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. It's just interesting. Just, just something that I just, one of those random useless bits of pop culture that I just file away in my brain. Anyways, I'm really excited for the season. Okay, so what we're seeing the so, the seeds sown for is that the, apparently there's some big fight between three bitches that are concerned with how many friends they have, according to Erica, Erica Jane. So I'm assuming it's Dorit, Kyle, and Lisa get into some big three-way argument. I, I don't know. We'll see. I'm looking forward to the season to see how that plays out. So, think, uh, and but I do have to say, programming note, I might be um, stepping away from the Housewives of Beverly Hills just for a little bit. Um, I know that The Amazing Race is starting soon, and I'm going to have that take the place of the Housewives of Atlanta. And then when RuPaul's Drag Race comes back uh, at the end of January, it's going to take the place of Housewives of Beverly Hills, um, just until it's done. It's a much shorter season than it is for Beverly Hills, so we'll come back to the Beverly Hills Housewives. Atlanta might be done by the time Amazing Race is over. Um, but yeah, so about pump rules, I'm still doing pump rules. And of course, you know my soaps. I'm not changing my soaps unless they get canceled. All right, so anyways, thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Angel Benton. You can hashtag pump rules to talk banner pump rules, or you can also hashtag, well, yeah, even though that was yesterday. You can also hashtag RHOBH to talk the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills or Real Housewife shit. And you can also hashtag days to talk days of our lives because I'm doing that next. Okay, everyone. And you can hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel to get my YouTube video sent to your email inbox every single day. Okay, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.